what's up guys so she's here another video on world boss so as all of you probably have noticed world boss is highly affected by artifacts but in what way like does a plus six work that much more than a plus uh, 12 does a artifact that's legendary work better than an artifact that's a hero does an artifact that rolled higher than the other work more um, is plus 15 better? Is certain stats on an artifact better? Is certain base stats on an artifact on certain units better? These are some of the questions I have and during like I'm just gonna find that out and I'm gonna cut the video and show like the important part. So first off, I have the previous video on Robots like how it works. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check that one as well. But just to recap, what are the important points? Important points are A skill ups so like most important or least important factor and then if you have everything what is that important so most important is skill ups i think yeah probably because everything has runes let's say everything has runes i'm not sure if runes matter more than skill ups or not but skill ups and runes those two are really important i would say skill ups is most important and not the um full skilled but the amount of skill ups so for example why is gildong that good a, he's skilled up by a three star from his family. He is water, which is the best element, like everyone knows. But also, his skill ups are six, seven, six, which means there is five, six, uh, there's 16 skill ups. So, 16 skill ups helps a lot. So, that's also your reason why, probably, in I already used the first team, in a lot of people's uh, first team, Pisama is that high. Not even when Pisama is that good ruined. But he just eats a lot of skill ups and the units that eat a lot of skill ups tend to be one of the higher units. This one is not, but then we come to the runes. Runes are important as well, but runes that make sense of the type of the unit. So multiplying the base stat that is high. In this case, the base stat that is high is HP, add in a lot of HP and he will do really good in roll boss. Same for like this, you just add in like... You don't have to have like high crit rate or anything. It's just adding in the base stats that make sense on the unit. Same for this one, adding in the base stats that make sense on the unit. Speed is one of the worst stats. So having slot 2 attack is probably better. Having slot 4 um, crit damage, crit rate is still fine. Crit rate is often a little bit worse. Um, slot 6 Aki resistance is actually still fine. But then we go on to the next point. Because I've actually noticed some of my units that are... On somewhat a lower um, or th that are not water are tending to get a high into the world boss since the artifact so does that mean they have good artifacts I'm not gonna click on Savannah because we're in the siege tournament and I cannot show Savannah but for example Sierra Sierra doesn't really matter that much um, Sierra has good artifacts which are of course plus uh, 15 a lot of these artifacts are plus 15 you might have an issue it's like oh but mana man i can't even like why should i like watch this stuff like i can't do anything because i don't have the mana you probably have just like me that you're farming a lot of artifacts and because you're farming a lot of artifacts you have a lot of artifacts that roll not that great but you're not gonna sell throw these on units if you want to increase your roll boss it's actually a really good increasement to put so uh, to go for like consistent triple s because consistent triple s compared to double s doubles your chance if i'm not mistaken doubles your chance for double mon scrolls anything like that so having triple s is that much better than uh double s and it's something it's an investment right now but it's the same as buying the crystal golem right the crystal golem costs 300 crystals so this guy is 300 crystals and it will get you one crystal per eight hours so it takes you a shit ton of time to get back the crystals but at some point you go over that point same for this i didn't want to do the math in general the further your unit is on the left the better the score is gonna be on the world boss so if your units from the right start surpassing units further to the left you know it's good you just want your units to move from the right to the left and if they're outside the 60 box you want them to move into the 60 box and then just keep in moving those kind of things so that's how you increase your world boss so i'm gonna um check for a unit put in an artifact change the artifact and see where it scales on like uh how far it is because before uh, for example you see pheromos he is in uh this slot right now let me drag him out let me drag this out no it's actually 
not possible to drag this out okay so well let's uh if this like this way so Veramos is in this slot so he's at the uh, point of like the uh, the backslash so let's see if i change something on the Veramos. where does he end up currently he has an artifact the right artifact is actually a high triple roll in uh, speed for inability effects. The others are pretty high. Like first one is high roll, first one is max roll, second one is high roll, and the third one is a max roll as well. So this is pretty much a max hero, and that might be the reason why Veramos is this high. Also, probably the multipliers work on the base stat. So if you would add an artifact that is um, a, like a, it's a flat stat. So adding in a flat stat on Veramos is probably way better than adding in a tech stat in Veramos. So let's try that out. Also, this artifact is a double. It's probably a hero. So let's try to find an artifact that is not that is plus fifteen. Otherwise, I'm gonna plus fifteen one. This video is gonna cost me a lot of mana for research for science, and we will see if Veramos goes up further with a similar rolled artifact, but flat HP. Okay, so I had to plan to do this with Veramos and then I figured like I'm gonna up a lot of dark artifacts which doesn't really make that much sense. So I switched to Miyang. Miyang, just for short, what does Miyang have? An attack. Attack is the lowest stat. Defense is even lower. So having attack and defense artifacts are probably better. This one is not plus 12. So um, how are the rolls? This one is a triple. No, wait, that's, that's a low roll. The second one is a triple roll, I think. No, double roll. Okay, let's try to find a, a defense um, support artifact for me. So we got ourselves a defense artifact. Well, you can't see it. Let me remove that one. We rip the mana. This artifact is, like if we compare it, can we compare it? Uh, it's not that easy to compare it because my face is in front of it. The artifact is, I think, a little bit higher rolled. We don't have the uh, rune optimizer yet that shows the artifact efficiency. So I just have to do it like this. And it actually didn't matter at all because you see um, Miyang was at the same spot as before. Miyang is still at the same spot. So that change of an artifact didn't do anything. So let's see if we throw in a artifact that is to change this one to a plus 12. That is well. this one is actually pretty high rolled. Let's try to find an artifact that is plus 12, but pretty terrible rolls. Let's OK, so we're removing this artifact. And I found one that was pretty terrible rolled. It was an attacker. No, it's not this one. Yeah, this one. It's pretty terrible rolled. Pretty sure it's just a um, a rare one. So let's see if this changed anything. Where did Miyang go? Hello, Miyang. Wait, am I blind? Oh, Miyang is here. Wow, that artifact that was rare put Miyang all the way back, like to the second team. So it's still a plus 12 artifact, but it's rare. And I think it's rather the quality than the rolls, but the rolls do really matter. And both of them were 12 and both of them were attack base. So the rolls or the, um, the quality does really matter. Let's try. Okay, let's try to find a plus 12 that was a... So I found an artifact that is plus 12. It was a legendary. It doesn't have two great rolls. It has like one in each, but it's... Well, efficiency-wise, it's actually... No, it's pretty mediocre. Because the dark could be like... It could be 12. Uh, wind could be 12. Speed increasing effect could be 12. And then the lost HP is 12. So... It is like pretty much like high hero runes, not max. So let's see how much this changes it for Miyang. And Miyang suddenly overpassed um, Veramos. It was uh, underneath uh, Sabrina at first. So the big difference comes from, I think, rolls. Let's see if I can find another artifact that is worse rolled. But I think I only have similar artifacts that are plus 15 so i'm gonna uh, plus 15 this artifact and i'm gonna see how much miyang will increase from plus 15 uh artifacts
finally! Okay, that took way too long. Okay, so let's see how far Mi Yang actually moved up. Mi Yang didn't move up that much, to be honest. Or at all. Barely. Wait, I don't remember where she is at. I think she barely moved. She barely moved. Okay, interesting, interesting. So let's see if we change this artifact to another artifact. So this artifact is supposedly also legendary, pretty bad rolls. So technically, this would roll, this is pretty much rolled like a max hero. So, or no, wait, a max rare. So this would lower the, um, this should lower technically the rate of Mi Yang. Where that's this one. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad. Well, for what it could have been, it's pretty bad. But I know for a fact that it is. Okay, so... Yeah. Why did you suddenly move up? Oh, no, it just went like down for two left. Okay, so actually, the rolls do matter. So, in fact, what seems to matter mostly is that it's um, high efficient. So high rolls do matter a lot more than um, the uh, which like um, no wait. So apparently rolls matter a lot in artifact. So if you just slap on a few uh, blue ones and you plus twelve them, you're not gonna get that much efficiency out of it. If you would put a max roll hero on it, it will be quite high. So I'm gonna try one more thing, which is adding in a uh, max roll plus nine hero. Let's see if I can find one and let's see where me and ends up Okay, so and unfortunately couldn't really find anything that is water max roll So it's pretty difficult to compare what I do have however is I found I do have this one However, it is not not max roll, but bomb damage is one of max reflect damage is one of max and uh, Wind is four of max. So technically it's well, that's pretty much a lot of max. So let's just see if I equip this artifact, like how much it sets back. Because based on the rolls, it is actually almost as good as the water artifact that is above. Because, is it? Yeah, because the other one has two max rolls and then a few mediocre rolls. So the bottom one has one max roll. And like, it's also like, Two and a half roll pretty much so it should lower just a little bit it shouldn't lower like that dramatically but it's also not plus 15. yeah as you can see my miang doesn't go that far back as where i tested with the other artifact which had really low rolls so apparently what's the deal it's high rolls matter the most okay then i'm gonna check one more thing is if i would put in instead of an attack I put in a defense because her defense stats are actually lower than her uh, attack stat. And that's the final test. Okay, so this artifact is pretty similar, the one I'm gonna add right now, because it's uh, pretty high rolls, but it's like two and a half, like roll from, uh, for like max. Like if three would be max, this one is like two and a half. So where does Miang end up? Miang ends up pretty much similar, pretty much similar. So the actual base stat barely matters. So to recap, what does matter? What does matter? What matters most is the uh, efficiency of the rolls. So it could be in any line as long as it's high efficient. So if you would have a hero that rolls triple high roll into something, it's probably better than most legendaries plus 15. Plus 15 helps a bit, but it's not that much. So if you want to focus on world boss and you have this knowledge you now have from this video, the best way you can increase your roll boss team is if you have some units that are just purely ruined for roll boss, like by checking the other video and you have like water units and you store some other stuff on it and you have like a bunch of guild dunks. What kind of artifacts do you have to uh, put on those guild dunks? Any base barely matters. Plus 15 doesn't really matter. Go for plus 9 because it's, it's relatively cheap to go plus 9. It's super expensive to go plus 15. The gaps are like, it's pretty much comparing like spending 200k mana and spending like 1.6 mil mana. So plus 9ing is pretty easy, but the artifacts have to be high efficient. So if you do get artifacts that are like shit stats and they roll like 3 times high in the shit stat, 
throw those on your role boss team and it will increase your role boss by a hell of a lot and that's how you're gonna get your triple s's way easier and i actually i haven't optimized my role boss team to do this because this is the first time i actually check like okay what does matter so it's artifact efficiency that's the only like that's pretty much the main thing that matters and then plus 15 is a small increase but it's mainly artifact uh, efficiency and currently we don't have that at the optimizer yet but i do know that uh sandro is working on that and we probably have that he mostly releases before um uh free room removal too bad artifacts are not in free room removal but just once you have that just put your artifacts on like most efficient to least efficient and start throwing in artifacts that are on the top put those on your units that you that multiply good by having already good runes max skill ups or water element and that's how you're going to increase your robot so hope you learned a thing or two i actually learned a thing or two well i did learn a thing or two so okay one more small test that i did i gave like just to clarify i gave one more um artifact that is plus 12 even higher efficiency and you see like how big the gap is that she jumps of course it's all relative it could be that there's just like a few points in between them but and then i shouldn't end the video without actually doing my role boss right so i did already did one run and my first run is the one you see in the thumbnail um this one mostly gets like 2.5 ish these days yeah, 2.5 ish. That's pretty pretty accurate. Well, you can't see it because my face is in front of it. Uh, let's remove the camera for a sec. 2.5 ish. And then the last one. You can actually see that there's like in this team there's a lot more fire units. There's a lot more wind units. There's even light units. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And that's just like uh, artifact efficiency increases that much that actually fire units start getting in the um this team again because before it was pretty much like my all of my 60 units uh i got number one world boss like i think like 10 times right now now probably more probably 20 or something but man eh, somewhere in between there whatever but my team was consisting of like three or four wind units a few light and dark units and the rest was all water and currently there's even fire back in there and this one is also 2.5 so i'm gaining about like 2 point on a 7.5 k a day is the correct no 7.2 about 7.2 so currently number one again and i take number one spot by a, a little bit amount but you, you can see like you can see the difference where like the first two is a gap of like uh like 600k and then it's like 1.3 mil and then it's another like 1.3 mil and then it starts going like progressively like all pretty much similar slash same so if you want so huh so this is what you should do if you want to improve your role boss If you haven't yet and you made it all the way to the video i highly appreciate it that you would like the uh, video and subscribe to the channel i have a whole bunch of more like knowledge kind of stuff like b12s new b10s uh whatever kind of stuff of like new events coming up so in hindsight what it means is that you like the content and that's why i started doing these kind of videos anyway sharing my knowledge knowing that people appreciate it it's it's a good it's a positive world right so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next